Today, we're taking a trip to the dark side of programming, but fear not. This is purely for educational purposes. We're going to explore how to create a computer virus with Python. Now, before you start imagining me as the next big digital villain, let's clear the air. This is all about learning how these things work so we can protect ourselves against them. Ready to dive into the shadows? Don't forget to subscribe and smash that bell icon to stay in the loop with all our wild tech escapades. All right, let's get down to business. First, let's open up our trusty code editor. I'm using VS Code, but you can use any editor you're comfortable with. We'll create a Python script that simulates a virus by deleting files in a specified directory. Remember, don't try this on any important files or systems, unless, of course, you want your computer to break up with you and start a new life as a paperweight. So now we are going to import the OS and the platform module. Then, we will determine where the desktop directory is located, depending on the operating system. For Windows, we're using the user profile environment variable to get the user's home directory, then appending desktop to it. For macOS and Linux systems, we use the home environment variable. This ensures that our script works seamlessly across different platforms. Next, we define the paths for two files we're going to create on the desktop, a harmless text file and a batch script. The file underscore path is where we'll place our harmless text file, and the batch underscore file underscore path is where our script for Windows will be saved. If you're using macOS, don't worry. We'll get to the Apple script part soon. Now, we're creating the harmless text file on the desktop. This part of the script opens the file in write mode and writes a simple message. It's a little nudge wink to remind us that this file is just a decoy for our educational virus simulation. So now in this part of the code, we define a function delete underscore files which takes a path and recursively deletes all files in that directory. This function uses os.walk to traverse the directory and os.removed to delete each file it finds. It's important to handle exceptions in case a file can't be deleted for some reason. And over here, we specify the directory we want to target for deletion. Replace the dummy path with the actual path of the directory you want to attack. For demonstration purposes, Make sure this directory contains only dummy files that you don't mind losing. We then call our delete underscore files function, passing in the target directory. This is where the magic, or should I say mischief, happens. The function will traverse the directory and delete all files within it. Remember, this is just a simulation, so don't use it on any important data. Finally, for macOS platforms, we create an Apple script that runs our deletion script. This Apple script will be linked to the text file so that when the file is opened, the script executes. To link the Apple script to our text file, we need to change the file extension. On macOS, we'll change harmless underscore file dot txt to harmless underscore file command. This will allow us to execute the Apple script when the file is opened. Next, we need to make our Apple script executable. Open the terminal. Navigate to the desktop and run this command. And there you have it. We've created a simple yet effective script that demonstrates how a computer virus could work. Remember, this is purely educational. Always use your programming skills for good, not evil. If you found this tutorial interesting, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, keep your code clean and your intentions pure.